I don't usually like to read entire long articles when I can usually just get to the point with evidence, but this video is a little bit different. I'm going to read this whole article, and the reason I'm going to read the whole article is because doing some searching around in my old pictures and links and stuff, and I noticed that a lot of people are coming to a better understanding of what's going on, and that makes it to where there's a lot more things that people have posted and written about it, so that means that there's more evidence to collect and put together into one place. So something told me that I should go back into the archive and there's a search on the archive so you can search for whatever you want. And there's a reason why people are archiving these articles and things that they're finding online because they want to save it before they know someone's going to delete it. So Something told me to go back and search through the history of these things because obviously there's going to be a, a good compilation of evidence now that we're nearing so close to the end. While I was doing that, I decided, okay, well, I know who the Antichrist is. And if you haven't already seen my videos that have the proof, then you might want to go check either on my YouTube or BitChute or Rumble. Uh, the link my YouTube links are in the description. So because I know who the Antichrist is, and mo uh, most of us do by now, if we've been paying attention, I'm on my third new account, let's just say. So anyway, I went on to there and I typed into the search, Obama Antichrist. When I was looking through the links, I came to a link that said, Elon is bloodline, the great deceiver. And I'm like, hmm, that sounds interesting. And it's from May 7th, 2022. So I click on it, and when I click on it, I get to this article, and I'm, it's a little bit of a long article, but I'm going to read the entire thing because it not only does it corroborate the things that I've said when I prophesied because it's all put together in one place to give a little bit more understanding, but it's also f from testimonies of people that were in the inner circle. So being that it came from them and it corroborates what I say, I might be uh, adding a little comment here and there as I read it, just so you can understand where I'm seeing it from. I'm just going to read the whole article and you can see how things are coming together. One thing I will say before I start reading is that one of the things that I have prophesied and showed proof of an evidence of uh, is that the Antichrist was starting setting up in 2020, April of 2020 to be exact, because that's when all the articles started coming out talking about how they were holding meetings with the Messiah and how Biden's number added up to a multiple of 666 and how the Pope dropped his traditional title of Vicar of Christ and it all happened around the same time because they were setting up for the Antichrist. So anyway, I'm going to read this article and you can see what I'm talking about. It says, Elon is bloodline, the great deceiver. Elon Musk is bloodline. Not only is he bloodline, but he is in the very inner circle of bloodline, brought up and trained for a specific job in the end times that we are now part of. Two whistleblowers, to my knowledge, have already come forward that have said this of Elon Musk. One is Shalom Girl, who was house girl to the Musks. Shalom Girl states that when he was a child, Elon was called El Elyon, which she says in Hebrew means God, God Most High. She also says, I was told that Elon would lead the Great Deception. May Musk, Charlie Manson, and Rosemary's Baby. And just so you know, as I'm reading this, I think the times where they put this in italics, they're actually just quoting titles or something. And I've seen it in there quite a few times. So um, she adds, Jesus said not to be deceived. Many would come in my name. Go ye not after them. The time draws near. Shalom Girl once asked one of Mary Musk's friends if Elon was the Antichrist. She replied, no, but he will present the mark, and when you see him do that, the Antichrist will take the stage. And I'll tell you right now, the mark has already started. She says he tried to sacrifice her in the spirit world. So according to Shalom Girl, Elon will lead the great deception, and he will present the mark. And I want to say also that him saying he wants to put chips in your brain and people saying they want to put chips in your hand is just a distraction from the real mark which is already in the bloodstreams of most of the people who are ever going to take it quite what deception as there are so many is unclear and the mark could be the mark of the beast and of course yes i know that is what that is in 1965 may musk named me rosemary at birth remember rosemary's baby a 1978 May sends for me to come care for Elon. Elon's name was El Elyon, and May called herself Light. Dr. Joshua Norman Halderman 
Elon's grandfather, faked his own death in 1974 and was up to no good in USA Labs. They're the Illuminati and planning world takeover. Since I started telling you the truth, my family history is being deleted off the internet, Ancestry.com, military records, school records, and the census records say my grandfather never survived World War II and socked Dr. Joshua Norman Haldman up, Elon Musk's grandfather. Dr. Haldman was arrested for being a technocrat leader and kicked out of Canada in 1940. Operation Paperclip, Operation Mockingbird, Operation Midnight Climax, Jesus Christ Saved Me. And it looks like that's a link to the girl on Reverb Nation, which tells me that she probably has audio files on there. Uh, what the heck, let's just check. Okay, so it looks like she has a page on here and she looks like she's trying to remain somewhat anonymous. And her featured video is Dream I Was Bride of Christ Getting Ready for Jesus. I'm not going to play these because I'm in the middle of reading the article, but you might want to check it out. More of Shalom Girl's testimonies and links here. Elon Musk opened the abyss to play with his friends. Now, that's another thing I will uh, make a comment on is that just about anybody will be able to do that if they did the right things. And there is such thing as witchcraft. That's why the Bible condemns it. And they are using witchcraft and they are doing things against people and nothing will prosper against the children of God. So you have to have that faith because if you don't believe that, then you will be able to be damaged by it. They're playing for your soul. When you get the mark, the mark is playing for your soul. It's like putting a bunch of Ouija board windows inside your body so that the demons can have their way through. So they can basically just possess people. I don't know how to pronounce this name. Jesse Zebotar? The other whistleblower is Jesse Sebatar, forgive me if I can't say it right, who was trained to be the successor of the Queen Mother of Darkness, but chose not to accept the role. She has stated that Elon and her were in core cell group of three in the illegal secret experiments organized by Ukrainian Nazi Michael Harkok, Aquino, and Brennan. They don't make it easy for me to pronounce. I'm not a, any by any means a scholar. I've been led to all the things that I've prophesied by God, and he has shown me what to prophesy, and then was always further corroborated by things that and things that I seen and found after or during the time I was prophesying it. One thing is, I'm going to skip, like, see how it says right here, like, what they do? Well, they always repeat it right after, so I'm just going to skip that part and read along after. This quote, there was a core group of boys that I grew up with, you know. So I will admit that he was one of the three in the core cell groups that I went through with the looking glass. He also was involved in the Star Wars Now projects with us. So he went through the same training sessions with, you know, the Nazi gentleman, Karkuk, as well as with Aquino and Brennan, with me and my training partner. So yeah, so there's high involvement there, you know, very scientifically minded. It did not surprise me when I found out that he was heading up space for bringing forward a lot of the prot technology that would it advance the projects that connect into that spiritual world. Level 1, Alice and the Looking Glass. Looking Glass focused on learning how to look into the spirit world and try to manipulate time or play with events as they would unfold in time. Another comment on that, I would say that if you haven't seen my website, uh, the link is below, you can see after all of the experiences that I've had, how I describe how there is a parallel to where we are at, which is why there's such thing as demonic activity and things we can't explain that seem to be unseen. It, uh, an article about a man, a psychologist who worked with schizophrenic patients and the doctor that did that, he said that when he found out and realized that it was actually demonic possession, he had a reaction that from one of the patients, he was trying to communicate with this demon and see how he could figure things out. And the demon made sounds go through the electrical in the wall. It was like a crackling sound. And that's the thing. And a demon or a entity, spiritual entity outside of the body is energy. So that was the only way you could scare, he could scare the guy because that was what they were able to do. So when you hear them talking about 
going into the spiritual realm, opening doors and things like Ouija board and stuff like that. That is true. It's real. So you have to take that into account in every aspect of your life that they are constantly at us trying to influence us to do the wrong things. You have to look for those things in everything you do so you can know what not to do. So you can avoid those things. We have to think before we act. And that's the thing is people aren't thinking before they act, especially if they've been lobotomized. For this one, they needed three children who work in conjunction. The children learn to see the spiritual realm, but one child only can see what the end result will be. One child cannot see what happens in the end, but can tell step by step what the process is to get the end result. The last child sees every possible choice and the consequences of that choice. Another comment. The reason why they're using children especially is because before you grow into your full size, uh, like when you're a baby, you're born and your head is not fused together. Well, the, the persistent frontal structure of your forehead is not fully fused until later. You know, you, you grow some more. So that's why children have such a higher spiritual perception. Now, back in the day, they used to have to have that open persistent frontal structure unfused in order to become an Orthodox priest. And the reason I can testify to that being true is because um, you can read about it on my website, but I'll just say that I had an accident and I hit my head in the forehead in 2010 or 11, right before I had my dream of the rapture and I didn't know what the rapture was. It reopened my persistent frontal structure. And when it did that, it not only gave me the ability to see these dreams, because I've already had these dreams and perceived things before they happened all my life, but especially when I was a child and I could hear God and talk to God. But I remember a point in time where I prayed to God. I said, please just make me stop seeing these things because I was able to see, you know, what little kids will say, oh, there's a monster in my bedroom or whatever. So I didn't quite know what they were. I actually called them transformers, <laughs> but I prayed to God that I couldn't see them anymore. And then I don't remember what happened or when after that I was unable to, but it wasn't so much that as it was God speaking through me until the rest of the time, uh, until I actually hit my head again. What I'm trying to say is the kids have a higher spiritual perception because of that open, persistent frontal structure. So that's why they're using especially children to do these spells or whatever you call them. Moving on, from those three, they piece together the best possible choice and the steps to take to get there in order to get the end result they desire. Jesse went on to say, when they have six children who can work in conjunction in Alice Project, they move them to the next level of experiment, which is level two Star Wars Now Project. For more on Looking Glass, also see MJ4 Majestic, Dan Burish, Stargates, and E.T., and if you don't already know that E.T. are just demons pretending to be aliens. In level 2 Star Wars, they throw in ran a random 7th child who has wild card gifts, meaning that they don't know what this child can see or do or how they work in conjunction with others. They draw a pentagram, 5 children stand at points of the pentagram, 2 children in the middle. This is done in a huge warehouse-like room, so the pentagram is massive. The children at the points had to be out 20 feet at least from the sunshine in the middle, and the ones at points reach out hands towards one another, but can't touch due to distance apart. They've learned to extend the energy their bodies emit. See the energy? They need the energy because that's spiritual. This creates an energy, harmony, and resonance the two children in the middle can draw upon. This was called ground zero or base field or home base or base camp. Outside the children in the middle, there are two other energy fields they create. The first is a magnetic field, which equals demonic beings singing and connecting to allow their energy to be tapped. The second field is called the electromagnetic field, which consisted of high priests and priestesses giving their energy to be tapped. The two in the circle are the ones who are to draw on on all of this energy to enhance their personal harmony and resonance. With it being a pentagram, which is summoning a holy ground, the two in the middle have unlimited access to summon as many demonic legion as they can. This is one of the children's job. They are to funnel through the demonic hordes. The other child holds open the heavenly gates so the demon can flood through, Antichrist rising, the when and where and how. This is the whole objective of the Satanic Lucifer plan, to usurp the throne of God and to take control with hordes of demons flooding through the gates of heaven. And I'll tell you right now, 
that that's not possible. What they think is possible is not going to be possible. They're deceived by Satan into doing these things for him. So they think that it's possible, but it's not. To achieve the opening of the gates, he has abused these children via Karkuk, Brennan, and Aquino to be able to open the gates and summon the demons at the time of his choosing. The Antichrist has been in charge of the Luciferian plan to seize God's throne since 24th of April 2020. And you can see how... I pointed that out, uh, it, most of it revolving around April of 2020. One of Jesse's roles was to oversee the consummation of the Antichrist. Her ritual name was Sunshine and her training partner was Moonlight. I went into great detail about this just before the event was to take place, Gloria Vanderbilt and the Rising of the Antichrist. The Antichrist is represented lying down before his rising in the Antichrist shrine above Gloria Vanderbilt's bed. Sunshine is represented on the left facing it and Moonlight on the right. <laughs> And to all of us who are awake, and most of us who are awake have seen I Pet Goat too. look at this picture. That is over our Gloria Vanderbilt's bed, okay? It looks exactly like the, the pictures in I Pet Goat. And as you can see, that looks like the character in there that was actually Osama Bin Laden, who is actually just a made-up alias, which covers Obama, and I can show you that too. He had a nose job, but he still has. Why would you keep the mole if you're going to get a nose job to look like something different? It doesn't make sense, but okay. Gloria Vanderbilt and the Rising of the Antichrist. Although the fifth reading of the books to consummate the Antichrist did not go ahead on date, he still assumed the position. The Queen Mother of Darkness is still alive and was not succeeded by Jesse due to her choice, but is no longer the head of the Illuminati. That is now the Antichrist, a change to patriarchal system. The other ritual, the storming of the spiritual gates to heaven to take over God's kingdom, is also yet to take place. And by that, they must mean the attempt to do so, because obviously God would not allow that to happen. Who is the Antichrist? That is an important question. How can we tell? As largely the satanic forces are reactive, Antichrist against the role of Christ as Messiah, they spend an inordinate amount of time in their symbolism to mock Christ so he will come from the lineage of David. He will be able to do signs, wonders, and miracles. He will proclaim to be the true Messiah and lead Israel and all mankind into deception. All of Israel will believe he is the long-awaited Messiah. Then you shall know. Now I'll tell you this. That's a mixture of lies and truth. Now, we'll go back through this. How can we tell? Largely, the satanic forces are reactive, antichrist against the role of Christ as Messiah. But it's going to appear as light, because it wouldn't be deceptive if it wasn't. They spend an inordinate amount of time in their symbolism to mock Christ. So he will come from the lineage of David. Now, I can't say what kind of lineage of David would have came to be to the Antichrist, but what I can tell you is that the lineage that the Antichrist is looking at, the lineage that they're looking at, is actually a lineage of people who m will carry the name Hussein. And the reason for that is because that is the, the lineage of people that came from their so-called prophet, Muhammad. Understand? And so something you have to understand is that they're going to mix lies with truth. And even if the people that think they're on the inner circle are going to tell you what they know, they're going to tell you what they think they know based on what Satan has taught them. And where it says he will be able to do signs, wonders, and miracles, those things can be perceived differently depending on how you look at it. Where it says he will make fire come down from heaven. Have you ever seen a missile? Have you ever seen a rocket? He will proclaim to be the true Messiah. Um, actually, it says he will proclaim that he is God, as did Obama. As we called him God of all things, Obama says he is God. And the funny thing is that the false Messiah that I'm going to read about in a second is is what is it's the false false Messiah basically. It's a trick false Messiah. That was Trump. He's probably a known personality at present. Yes, he is. But his role, of course, is not yet known. It is to those of us that prophesy. At present, though, who he is is not important, nor is the probable price worth paying for revealing it, even if I knew, which I do not. There are many lower hanging fruit and other knowledge of the system that can be spread. Besides, revealing the Antichrist could just result in a change of the individual. The Antichrist is a title, a position, not the individual per se, which is not true also. How do I know that's not true? Because they have been preparing for him for it his whole life. They used specific DNA to bring him back so that they could have him be who he is. That's why he looks identical to Akhenaten and why he also has his picture over the Pope inside the, standing in the eye. They all worship the same false god, Saint Phoenix. 
Obama is the new Phoenix having taken over from George Soros as the head of the Senate Council, overseeing the destruction of old order and the building of the new. Obama is now running the Satanic Council. Now, what does that tell you? They say they don't know who it is, but then they say that he's taken over as leader. And now, down here it says, Obama is the new Phoenix having taken over for the Satanic Council. So they're telling you without telling you. This is, if I understand correctly, the destruction of the overtly dark side to be replaced by the even more devious and deceptive light side. Just as the political parties mean nothing and are controlled by the globalist cabal, so too the dark and light side both work for the same side. For more on this, see Lifting the Wool Blogs, who does incredible research from time-consuming videos and all resources to piece together as best she can what is happening in the Illuminati. Perhaps start with her most recent, which is partly about the two sides of the Illuminati, former Illuminatiist Carolyn Hamlet. For further information on issues and positions in this battle, see Illuminati players in Battlefield Earth Realm. Twitter is a coincidence that Elon bid for Twitter happened around the 24th of April anniversary of the rising of the Antichrist two years ago and also over Easter time, the resurrection of Jesus. Restoration of free speech to make it in line with free speech laws is better than the truth being banned and only the globalist narrative being presented, but it, is it just another deception? Of course it is. And I can show you that if you look on my channel, you can see that he, along with all the other elites, has the mark of the beast on their forehead that they cover with rubber and makeup or whatever. I've proven it many times before they started covering it better. A lot of things they blocked or t cameras they took down or videos they took down or proof that I've shown, they've taken it down as soon as I show the proof. So they're obviously watching me. If the satanic globalist cabal are against free speech on Twitter, then they will find ways to de deplatform via at every level of the tech stack from DNS to hosting providers, app stores, email services, and more. Some of the top investors in Silicon Valley are already predicting this as if to say they already have these wheels in motion. Gab overcame and rebuilt from absolutely nothing through all of these hurdles. Is Elon Musk now in a fight with these? Is it the just, the normal betrayal thought to Illuminati? Is it a fight between light and dark sides of the Illuminati? I have not studied much about end times astrology, nor do I intend to, as there are so many interpretations, and my time is better spent on other things. However, just to show the multiple levels of deceit, Carolyn says there are plans for a fake Antichrist. That was Trump. 2015, Carolyn Hamlet Illuminati planned fake Antichrist before the false messiah. Increasingly, and that's funny because in 2015, 2016 was the end of Obama's term, his second term, and he revealed so much in that time. He even revealed his real face. On C-SPAN in October of 2016, he revealed his real face. Yeah, earlier today. Obamacare is great, and it's really working. Interestingly, like most Luc like many Luciferians, Elon Musk's firstborn died. Elon is just Illuminati. West Quadrant of the United States. His father, however, is international. Elon is very much on message as regard the WEF Great Reset Luciferian agenda. Elon's actions appear to align themselves with the satanic cabal from using Starlink to help Ukrainian Nazis to Neuralink, linking humans to chip and chips and artificial intelligence. Elon has also said with artificial intelligence, we are summoning the devil. Never mind his Halloween costume that had a huge Baphomet with upside down cross in the middle and then if you looked at the back which I can't find any more pictures of it I seen it once I should have snagged that picture real quick but I didn't uh, on the back there was a giant upside down cross as if the one on the front wasn't obvious enough inside the middle of the Baphomet now he's saying with artificial intelligence we're summoning a demon he wants to put a brain chip in you he says he wants to put a brain chip in you but really you're most people are already chipped but he's for it and he's for the combining the artificial intelligence with humans. So he wants to summon the demon. But don't people get? Not only that, but they're asking him now to um, use his boring company to make new tunnels for CERN. Obviously, if he's connected to CERN and all of this, then you know that there's something not good. People are very, very deceived. I don't know how. Some people can't see through some of this stuff saying that they're Christians, but the reason why is because people don't read their Bibles. You can't recognize prophecy in motion when you see it if you don't read about it. You just can't. If you base your knowledge of Bible prophecy off of hearsay of all the people that were deceived over the years, you're not going to understand things because 
most of what's happened as a prophecy has unfolded has not looked anything like the way that we pictured it to look, including and especially the mark of the beast. I have seen, even recently, in the past couple weeks, I've seen Christians, people say they're Christians, but then they deny what the mark is. And I'm like, you have any idea how many people you're hurting by not warning them because you're denying that it's the mark? Their blood is on your hands. I'm not going to read all these screenshots, but you can pause it and read them. These are all things that point to him being very for the mark and very for AI and very for all the demonic stuff that he's claiming is happening. Just because they're telling you what's happening doesn't mean they're against it. Elon and Jesus. The normally satirical Babylon Bee broadcasts an interview on Solstice in 2021 in which they asked Babylon Bee is a Christian organization and we're a ministry. To make this church, we're wondering if you could do us a quick solid and accept Jesus as your Lord and Savior, personal Lord and Savior. It's a quick prayer. Musk responded, I agree with the principles that Jesus advocated. There's some great wisdom in the teachings of Jesus and I agree with those teachings. He said, pointing out forgiveness and the golden rule. Things like turn the other cheek are very important as opposed to eye for eye, as opposed to an eye for an eye. An eye for an eye leaves everyone blind, must mandate maintained. Forgiveness is important in treating people as you would wish to be treated. Love thy neighbor as thyself. As Einstein would say, I believe in God of Spinoza. Musk said, referring to the quote believed to have been spoken by Albert Einstein in 1921. Einstein was believed to have said, I believe in Spinoza's God who revealed himself in the orderly harmony of what exists, not in a God who concerns himself with fates and actions of human beings. Musk added, but hey, if Jesus is saving people, I mean, I won't stand in his way. Sure, I'll be saved. Why not? I think he just said yes, Nicole said. We got him. There's a bit more, and it is best to watch to see the body language and Elon's darting eyes. However, I have not watched him closely before, and the darting eyes might be a feature of people brought up in his abusive satanic monarch and mind-controlled system. Gloria V also had darting eyes, which is meant to be why she chose the pattern she did. You have to understand that just saying what he said doesn't mean anything. Even the demons know who Jesus is, and they admit it in the Bible, you have to accept him with your heart. You can't just say, yeah, whatever. That's not accepting him. Accepting him is accepting him wholeheartedly and following his commands. A lot of people think that just because we're not under law doesn't mean we don't have to follow the law. No, we follow the law because we love him. And if that's not your desire, then you're not desiring the right thing. December 22nd, 2021. December 22nd, 2021, I... Odyssey Babylon B interview Elon Musk says he agrees with Christ's teachings. As if you want a bit more video about Elon when Elon was going out with Grimes, and she is clearly a satanic person, a very openly satanic bitch. Shoot, it's a shame. See for yourself, Elon. No. Concluding questions: What exactly is Elon's role for the end times? Will Elon turn his back on his mind-controlled training and Luciferian handlers and his attached demons and be saved, or is it just another deception? What will be Elon's choice? So, what you have to understand is that even with all the truth they tell, there is going to be lies within them because the lies are told even to the people that they think are closest to them. The only one who knows the whole truth is God, and the only one that's hiding the whole truth is Satan. Um, If you have any questions about any of my videos, you can probably be better off getting to me through my website, because if you go through YouTube, sometimes I don't see the comments, and if you go through the other ones, they don't even tell me I have comments sometimes, so um, I can explain anything I do know, I will never say that I know something that I don't. I just know what God has shown me throughout my life and everything that I've been through. And I've been through a lot of this stuff that they say is possible. I dabbled in as a child because I didn't know any better. But when you come to Christ and you learn what's wrong and what's not, you realize that you're better. You're not only hurting yourself by keeping quiet about it. You have to want forgiveness for it. You have to admit that you've done wrong, but you also need to warn people not to make the same mistakes you did. Even if it makes them hate us, like they hated Christ, we tell the truth.